Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Acrobat lets you create a PDF from multiple files. For example, you can incorporate a text document and an image document into one PDF file using Acrobat. To create a PDF from multiple files, first click the Create PDF button that appears within the Tools Center. Next, click the Multiple Files option from the left side of the Create a PDF from Any Format screen. The right side of the screen displays three options. Click the Combine Files option and then click the Next button. Acrobat displays the Combine Files screen. The Combine Files toolbar then appears at the top of the screen. It contains buttons that let you add or remove files, change the display of listed files, and adjust PDF creation options. From the Combine File screen, you can create a PDF from multiple files using several methods. Clicking the Add Files button in the center of the screen launches the Add Files dialog box where you can navigate to find files you want to add to the PDF. Click to select a file, and then click the Open button. The dialog box closes and Acrobat adds the selected file to the Combine File screen. You can also add files to a PDF by clicking the Add Files button in the Combine Files toolbar. When you click the Add Files button, a drop-down menu of options appears. Click the Add Files command to launch the Add Files dialog box. Navigate to find another file to add to the PDF, and then click the Open button. The dialog box closes and Acrobat adds the file to the Combine Files screen. You can also add files that are opened in Acrobat to your new PDF. To do this, click the Add Files button in the Combine Files toolbar and then select the Add Open Files command. Acrobat displays the Open PDF Files dialog box, which shows you all of the PDF files currently opened in Acrobat. Click to highlight the file you want to add and then click the Add Files button. The dialog box closes and Acrobat adds the selected PDF to the Combine Files screen. When you hover your mouse over thumbnail images in the Combined Files screen, you'll notice that two or three small circular buttons appear to float over the thumbnail images. When you hover over the magnifying glass button, a pop-up message shows information about the file, like the file name, how many pages the file contains, and the size of the file. If you click the magnifying glass button, Acrobat displays a larger image of the file in the main document window. To close the larger image, click anywhere outside of the document image in the gray area of the screen. The Trash Can button lets you delete a file from the Combined Files screen. Deleting a file from the Combined Files screen will not delete the file from your computer's hard drive, but it will remove that file from the PDF you are creating. If a file is more than one page, you will also see a double arrow Expand button. Clicking on the Expand button displays the file as a series of pages, each with its own thumbnail image. This can be helpful if you want to keep track of how many total pages your new PDF will be. To collapse the pages back into one thumbnail, simply click the Collapse Document button. You can remove files from the Combined Files screen if you decide you don't want to include them in your new PDF. Removing files can be done in a couple of different ways. You can click the Trash Can icon over the thumbnail image in the Combined Files screen. You can also click the thumbnail image to highlight the file you want to remove. Then click the Remove button in the Combined Files taskbar. You can right-click on a thumbnail image, and then select the Delete Document command from the pop-up menu that appears. You can even click on a thumbnail image to delete, and then press the Delete key on your keyboard. Keep in mind that none of these methods will delete files from your computer permanently. When the Combined Files screen displays the files that you want to use in your new PDF, click the Combine button at the right side of the Combined Files taskbar. Acrobat creates a new PDF document from the files and displays the new PDF in Document View. You can edit the PDF further or save it to your computer. Notice that Acrobat labels the new PDF as Binder 1. If you try and close the document, Acrobat will prompt you to save your work. When you save the file, you can then change its name. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.